She's not going to let you keep her, Em. He's got to. If he doesn't, she'll be slaughtered. Tending to dog meat. That's not going to change his mind. Moody's in. It's all tight in our belts and bouncy books. That's so unfair. Well, that's life, kid. You've got to help me persuade him. We've been through this once. You know she's got to go. Mom. We really can't afford to keep her, Em. If Dad's new business is such a good idea, how come we've never got any money? It's early days yet, Em. These things take a while to get moving. Maybe in a year or two. That's no good to Delilah. She'll be dead by then. Well, I'm sorry. That's just the way things have to be. I hate you. You OK, mm. Kelly? Not exactly. You out drinking last night? No. I bet you were. I heard you throwing up this morning. Just keep it quiet with you, Donna. I don't want her on my back again. So you were out boozing? Don't worry, I won't tell on you. I've got a lot more than that to worry about. I'm in real trouble this time. What's up? You haven't touched breakfast. I just don't like your lousy cooking. Simple solution. Do it yourself. And while you're at it, you can do the washing and the ironing. And I haven't finished with you yet, young lady. I am getting sick and tired of your attitude. What is you... going on? I can hear you two in the shop. Just start shooting her mouth up again. She's always picking on me. And if I do, it's for your own good. If you'd have listened to me, you might not have made such a fool of yourself over Tom. No, I could have done it with a barman like you did. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's just calm down, shall we? Don't bother. I'm going. This just can't go on. She is getting worse. Well, she does seem to be in a bit of a mood lately. Do you know what's up with her, Donna? Hiya. Yeah. I, I did some practice, like you said. Really? Oh, this is very good, Sam. I, I've got to go to the auction with Mr Pollard today, but c could you fit in some time for a lesson later? It'll have to be after closing. It's Betty's afternoon off, so I'm running the place on my own. Whatever you say, Cathy. <laughs> Well, you've taken on the big job there, haven't you? I know, but he's making real progress, and he's ever so keen. Are you sure it's the reading he's so keen on? Huh? So you feeling now, Mr Oathway? None the better for her coming. It wasn't my idea. It was kids as dragged me. Someone's got to get you two talking. Yeah, well, I think it needs more than talk. Grandad's got nowhere to go when he comes out of here, and you're too mean to take him in. It just wouldn't be practical. Oh, well, I hope you remember that when you're old, cos I just might say the same about you. He is family, Mum. I wouldn't see you out on the streets. <laughs> you're the last person I'd ever turn to. You've got no choice, Grandad. Oh, yes, I have. I can stand and fight for my farm. It's too late. The Tates have got an eviction order. You're a sick man. There's nothing you can do. You're out. That's it. Visiting time's over. Not for another hour yet. It is for you. Go on, clear off the lot of you. With pleasure. There's no point talking to you when you're in this mood. Grandad. Oh, come on. This ain't getting us anywhere. We'll have to think of something else. You look down. What's wrong? Parents join the club. It's all right for you. You're out and earning. Mine think they can interfere with everything. Was it their major of the baby? Can't really blame them for that. Except I was too scared to tell them. I can understand that. But if you'd got rid of it, no one had found out. Could never have done that. It'd be like murder. I knew that whatever happened, I'd have to go through with it. And now Jerry's happy with her foster parents. So it's all worked out. What was it like? Having the baby? Did it hurt? Why are you asking me all these questions, Kelly? Emma, I reckon I've got some great news. I think I've come up with a plan to save Delilah. Brilliant! What is it? Look, I'll come over to Woodside and see you at lunchtime and tell you all about it. OK. Come on, you. we better get back to work. We're both going to get into trouble. See ya. See ya. Hey, see you at lunchtime. Bye! Ah. Right, we're off to the auction. Now, you sure you don't want to check that catalogue, see if there's anything that takes your fancy? I've told you, I don't want anything to do with it. He's only offering her a present. You know what the final frontier is, Sam? Of course I do. I watched every episode of Star Trek. <laughs> yes, <coughs> well, they got it wrong. It's women's minds. No man's ever understood how they worked. Come on. I'm hoping for a favour. Mm. Can you look after the kids for a couple of hours tonight? Yeah, OK. You and Sarah going out? Well, not exactly, no. 
But I've tried just about everything, so now I'm planning a romantic night in. The trouble is a bit hard to set up with Victoria under your feet. Well, I'm always glad to help a good cause. Oh. Thanks, Cathy. Um, don't say anything to Sarah. It's a secret. That is what is commonly known as shutting the stable door after the horse is bolted. What he's done to Sarah is going to take more than a candlelit supper to put right. I just don't think you thought it through properly. I'm trying to protect us both from all the gossip that go round. Look, I'm not going to let the village busybodies spoil my chances of having another child. I thought you were supposed to care about me. I do. I'm 17 years old, Chris. Most of my mates are still at school, not having babies. Look, all right, there'll be some problems, but nothing we can't sort out. It's me that's got out the thing. So I don't think you start making decisions about it without me. Perhaps we should have discussed it more. Yeah, you bet we should, starting now. We can't talk now. I've got a meeting with Tony Cairns this morning. It's not an item on an agenda. It's my life. Which is why we need plenty of time to talk about it. Trust me, please. We'll discuss it when I get back. Come on, then. What's the master plan? Simple. We stick her in home farm stables. That's it. But there's absolutely no way my dad would pay the fees, let alone the feed bills. Look, there's not going to be any stable fees, and there certainly won't be any feed bills. Well, sorry, it takes you to do something for nothing. Yes, yeah, because I don't know about it. Well, Kim's got how many horses in there? She won't notice if I stick enough one in. But she's not thick, you know. What happens if she does? Me and Butch will get sacked on the spot, that's what. We can't let you do it, then. Mm. I've been trying to tell him that all morning. Look, I can't sit back and let her be slaughtered. What, so you're telling me now you care more about animals than your mates? Yeah, cos you know where you are with animals, Roy. Animals won't let you down, not like people. Now, come on, are we going to give it a go or what? It's the only chance she's got. Yeah, just till Dad changes his mind. Roy? Look, Roy, you can stay out of it if you like. I'll just act stupid. My family's been doing it for years. All right, then. Done. Right. There you go, mate. <laughs> now I reckon I can get her under the Sexual Discrimination Act. Oh. Mandy. She hadn't invited any blokes this naughty knickers do she's having. <laughs> well, I can't say that Mandy and her scanties would be the stuff of my dreams, can you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but there, there'll be a lot of top-class totty there. I mean, they won't admit it, but they wear that stuff for us. I mean, I could give them some of my expert advice. Tell them what suits. Bucky devil. Hey, you can talk. <laughs> I've told you, problem kids are not the sort of customers we need. They'll be well supervised. More trouble than it's worth. Cancel the course. I'm not going to do that. You think again. I'd hold you personally responsible for any damage done to home farm property. Compensation could wipe you out. I mean, you're hardly on a sound financial footing yet. But it's still my business, so I make the decisions. If you can't respect that, maybe it's time for you to pull out. Look, I'm sure it needn't come to that. Give Tony the benefit of the doubt this time. He may not be the most tactful man, but he can handle kids. Except my own. Emma's desperate to have a horse. She doesn't realise how much they cost to keep. I'll let you play it your own way, then. But if you screw up, you will be too skint to buy her a plastic pony. There you are. I told you that would be easy, didn't I? Can I come and visit? Yeah, yeah, as long as you check that the course is clear, cos uh, Kim will get a bit suspicious if she sees you around there too often. Kim's back! Oh, yeah. great. Look, uh, you lot get in there, I'll handle it. Hello, Roy. I wasn't expecting to find you up here. Oh, uh, no, I just saw you riding across the hill. I thought it might need an answer. I'm quite capable of looking after my own horse, thanks. No, I think you should let me do it. Why the sudden interest? I don't know. Horses are part of business, aren't they? I mean, you're always telling me to use my initiative. I suppose it's about time I learn. Well, I'm glad to see you're so keen. Well, I'll come along with you, talk you through the finer points of stable management. No, honestly, please. If I to do it myself, I'm a quick learner. I've been watching. Just leave it up to me, you get back to office. OK, that's the way you want it. Make sure everything's in its right place and give her a good rub down. Any more excuses, Chris? I'm gonna have to sort this out once and for all. Well, it suits me. Whatever it takes for you to have my baby will be provided for. What do you need? Well, for you to see things from my point of view, you understand what it'd mean to me. We're very different, Chris. Maybe you're not worried about what people think. But that's because you're rich, so you know they can't touch you. I 
I've got nothing. I have my baby and you'll find me extremely generous. What about my family? Well, you expect me to provide for them as well? This isn't just about money, Chris. This is about my future, my life. And how do you think they're going to react to all this? Well, it'll be a bit of a shock at first, but once they get used to the idea... You don't know them like I do. They'll throw me out, never speak to me again. And I'd be completely dependent on you. And if you turned against me... Well, that's not going to happen. You're asking a lot of me. Kelly, I care about you. I intend to look after you. Well, uh, I've explained all that to your parents. What are you talking about? Well, I suggest we go and see them as soon as possible. No, Chris, you can't. Look, they'll be able to tell for themselves soon. Much better to face it now. Rush me like this. I'm just not ready to tell him. So when will he be ready? Days, weeks? I don't know. The longer we leave it, the harder it'll be. I understand how you feel. I doubt it. Look, I promise I won't let you down. I'll be there with you. I'll do the talking if that's what you want. What if it all goes wrong? It won't. You've got to learn to trust me. Look, I'll give him the ring and tell him to expect us tonight. Cheers, mate. Cheers. There you go. So, uh, why the sudden generosity? I need a favour. Oh. Now, listen, listen. I'm getting on really well with Lynn, right? But her sister keeps getting in the way. So I thought, right, if you ask Kirsty out <laughs> No, wait, if you asked her out, I'd get a clear run. <sighs> Forget it. She's only year nine. She really fancies you. <sighs> OK, a fiver, but that's my final offer. Ah, plus any expenses incurred on the date, and I might think about it. Your dad can learn a bit about running a business from you. Don't encourage him. OK. It's a deal. Chris Tate just phoned. He's coming over tonight. What's up? He didn't say, but it's bound to be trouble if Kelly's involved. <sighs> Why do you always think the worst of her? He could be coming round to give her promotion or something. Experience, Vic. Open your eyes. Everybody else can see what she's turning into. It's because she's not your daughter, isn't it? That's why you hate her. I don't hate her. And I'd be exactly the same if Donna behaved like Kelly. I'm just trying to stop her going off the rails. <laughs> you couldn't even stop yourself doing that. So stay out of it. You leave my daughter to me. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I let you drag me into this, Mandy. I'm not into all the see-through stuff. Thermal vests are all my style. So now's the time to change your image. Uncle Zach won't know what's hit him. Oh, it'll be the floor mop if he doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about you, Betty? Hey? What's Seth like in the passion department? Mm, you'd be surprised. It's like a seething volcano. As long as there's no football, I'm telling you. <laughs> We've just been talking about our men folk and what they're going to think. Do you think Jack will be pleased? Who says I'm buying it for Jack? Oh, somebody else then. Yep, me. <laughs> I'm going to treat myself for a change. Good on you. The only thing Jack's going to get is the bill. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what you're blaming me for. You heard him. He said he didn't want to come and live with us. Well, you hardly made him feel welcome. Kirsty, can you get that? I'm not pretending I like him. Hi, Kirsty. I was uh, just wondering if you fancy coming out to the cinema with me tonight. Me? With you? Yeah, if you're not too busy. Busy? No, I'll, I'll just go get my coat. Oh, and we better ask your mum first. <laughs> yeah, right. Come in. Will wants to take me out. Well. well. If that's all right with you, Miss Hutchinson. She's got a project to finish. Don't be such a killjoy, Mum. Well, all right. As long as she's back by ten. Phil might not have even finished by then. It's not an 18, is it? I don't let her see that kind of thing. Mum, you've been really embarrassing. It's as well to get these things sorted out from the start. I hope I don't need to mention I expect you to behave like a gentleman. Oh, you've no need to worry, Miss Hutchinson. I'll have her home safe and sound. And early. Come on, let's get out of here before she makes any more rules up. I don't know why you girls want to grow up so fast. 
Well, you can hardly present you a Snow White when you're our age. Exactly. So I know what it leads to, and I won't let you make the same mistakes. You'll thank me for it one day. All right. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Oh, but where would I put the other leg? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Betty, uh, what do you think? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if you got that, it'd put Zach's blood pressure off. All right, you've convinced me. I'm buying it. Thanks for all your help this evening. You don't need me. You obviously know how to run these things brilliantly. Well, it's no big secret. Keep the booze flowing, the customer's happy. They'll keep spending money. You'll be a natural at it. I don't know. Oh, trust me, I know a talented saleswoman when I see one. A few more months, she'll be earning more than me. Do you really think so? Come over to see me tomorrow. We'll sort out the stock and all the paperwork. Then you'll be ready to go. Oh, Mandy, thanks for letting me come. It's been great. I really have to be going. Are you sure you'll be all right getting a taxi? Oh, yeah. We don't want Jack worrying now, do we? I don't suppose Jack even noticed I'd gone. See ya. Bye. Bye. Come on, Sarah. Well, this is an unexpected pleasure. Dad, I was watching... It's rude, Donna. Viv will join us in a minute. She's just finishing cashing up. Well, I hope I haven't come at an awkward time. Mm. Most welcome. Here, do you want a beer? A uh, glass of wine? No, no. Thanks. You want something to eat? We've got a really good line in TV dinners at the moment, haven't no, we, girl? I haven't come here to eat or drink it. We need to talk. And we know you're a very busy man, so let's get to the point. Yeah, so how's our little girl doing at home farm, eh? You pleased with her? Oh, yes. Very. We were disappointed she didn't take her exams. We wanted to go on to uh, university. Yeah, all right, Viv. Look, uh, I've told Kelly that uh, you've given her a real chance here and, you know, if she knuckles down, she can make a really good career for herself. Well, I'm, I'm sure... sure she can, but that's not why I'm here. I knew it. It's more of a personal matter. Right, Donna. Time for your bath. It's not even eight o'clock. Just do as you're told. Please, Donna. That's a good girl. I'll be back soon. You in some sort of trouble, Kelly? Chris will explain it all. Yeah, well, I'm... I'm sure that once you've had time to think, I hope that you see it as, as good news. What's going on? Well, it's probably better to... Wait for your wife to come back first before we discuss it. That was brilliant. What? You liked it? You didn't. I knew I'd say all the wrong things. Look, Kirsty, it's all right to have your own opinions. It's just that I'm so excited I liked anything. Oh, I shouldn't have said that either. Like I said, say whatever you want to. Well, Lynn says that you should never tell a boy that you fancy him. But I can't help it. I just can't believe you're taking me out. Was it that much of a surprise? Well, I wanted you to ask me for months, but I was sure that you'd think I was too young. What made you ask me? Oh, uh, well, I just thought it'd be fun. Well, it has been for me. Even if the movie was lousy, I don't care. I just want to be with you. Well, uh, yeah, I thought the movie was good too. Well, you can choose a movie next time. We'll do whatever you want to do. Come on, I promise you my mum would have me early. Right. Donna is under strict instruction not to show her face down here. Oh, I think we've all waited long enough, don't you? Dad. And I'd just like to say, Kelly's done her best by you. I've never seen her act so responsibly. She loves that job. No, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Well, if you're going to sack her, we're going to take it to a tribunal. I'm not being sacked. Well, then why are you here? But I thought... I thought you'd want to know that, um... you're going to be grandparents. I'm pregnant. What's going on? Kelly's having my baby. How? Mum, I think you know how. No, I mean, how? You're... He's in a wheelchair. He'll be coming out of it in a minute if he doesn't get out of my house. Dad, we come to... Get him out of my There's house! There's no use shouting. I came here to include you, but I don't even want to hear your voice! Let's just calm down. I'm not a little girl! Stop treating me like... You are a little girl! And this pervert's got I'm your not pregnant... staying here to be called a pervert! I don't want you anyway! Get out of my house! We need to calm down. And I'll do cry for him, I'll kill him! Right. right! Start again, shall we? Thanks. 
I had a great time. Yeah, so did I. I didn't talk too much today. Lynn says I give her earache. No, it's good to talk. I think so too. I want to know all about you, what you like, what you hate. Can't talk to boys my age. As soon as you get near a girl, all they want to do is grab her. Yeah. I mean, if I'd have gone to the pictures with one of them, I'd have been fighting them off as soon as the lights went down. You didn't even try it on. No, well, uh, I'm glad you noticed. I think it's good that you know how to respect a girl. Mm. It's not because you don't like me, is it? Oh, no, of course not. I still had your mother's warning <sighs> ringing in my ear. She can be a bit overprotective. But I'm sure even she won't mind if you kiss me. If you want to. Oh. Uh, Miss Hutchinson, I'm, uh, just bringing your daughter back. So I see. And it's not ten o'clock yet, so can you come in for a coffee? Of course. Oh, no, I've, uh, got some homework to do. I'd best be off. Bye. Bye. He seems like a sensible boy. There's much more than that, Mum. He's wonderful. I'm really sorry, Jack. Why didn't you tell me what you were planning? It was a surprise. Why are you so late, anyway? Oh, uh, I just went to a shopping party with the girls. It was just a laugh. I, I would never have gone if I knew you were planning this evening. Well, it's spoiled. Maybe we can make up for it some other time, eh? I doubt it. What did you buy? Oh, it, it's just silly stuff. I, I don't suppose I'll ever wear it. <laughs> You've never bought anything like this before. Were you thinking of me? Yeah, yeah, of course. You're going to put it on? What, now? Yeah. Well, you never know. It might turn out to be a good evening after all. Some other time, eh, Jack? Yeah, well, there's no time like the present. Cathy won't be back for hours with the kids. Look, I'm sorry, Jack. I can't just switch on and off like a machine. I, I need to be in the mood. Well, it's never been a worry to you before. I mean, what do you need? <laughs> Soft music? Candlelight? Time. Oh, you're just making excuses. Oh, I don't suppose Rachel ever did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Well, what difference does it make? I might have known you'd be thinking that. I can't believe you're even talking to that worm. Oh, just shut up, Vic. I'll look after Kelly and the baby. Anything they need will be provided. Well, you know what's your filthy manner, you pervert? If you can't say anything constructive, just stay out of it. She's my daughter. I'll say what's to be done with her. Sorry to interrupt. Before you all sort my life out, I thought you should know I'm leaving. You're not going anywhere with him. Come on, let's go. You can't give me orders anymore. I can do what I want. I think she's made up her own mind. I'm talking about you too. I'll just do my head in. I'm going to Mandy's. Kelly? I'll just leave me alone. I'm sick of the lot of you. 